they, they think it's like this big thing that's like so different. And like, I guess it is different, but it's like not like the most important part of me. It's kind of like a blurred line from when I like realized I was trans because I sort of already always knew that I was different. Like when I was little, I never really felt like a girl, but I didn't really like know that like I could feel like a boy. Um, but I guess like once I really got into like viewing media and stuff um, and like other trans people like coming out and telling their stories, that was sort of kickstarted like my whole coming out process. I think that the depictions of transgender people in popular culture or the presence of people like Caitlyn Jenner who are um, telling their stories is super helpful. Um, just to have people have to start thinking through those issues. The, the main thing that it seems to me needs to happen is uh, more like a normalization, like more exposure of transgender people's lived experiences and our existence to people who don't know what that word means and don't realize that we really are everywhere. I don't think that there's anything more important than that coming out process and that storytelling process for developing a sense of common understanding um, and appeal really to people's most basic decency and humanity. When I was in like sixth grade, um, I watched a lot of TV and like I would always watch movies and TV with like very like strong like male leads because that's like usually how it is. Um, but then like I remember distinctly thinking to myself, I can't watch movies anymore that have like male leads because I remember I said I was like, you cannot watch those anymore because then you're going to want to be a boy. Like, like I remember saying that to myself and I remember thinking that because I, like, I, I saw that like character and I was like, oh, I could be that, I could like do that. But then like, I was so scared and I was like, okay, I can't do that anymore. One of my main concerns um, was like my parents because like my mom is always like, oh, like boys are the worst, like I hate boys, they're so annoying. Um, and then my dad's always like, oh, I'm so glad that I never had like sons and I'm so glad that I had girls because they're so much easier. So like when I would hear my dad and my mom say stuff like that, like it wasn't like damaging, but like it was sort of just like, oh, like maybe they won't love me anymore. There are, is a large number of well-intentioned people um, who probably would want to do the right thing and behave well, who just have no idea what that even means and haven't ever had to think about those issues. The more people you mingle with, I just realized that I wasn't comfortable and I wasn't happy. Youth need to be listened to. I think that is maybe one of the main problems is that um, there are a lot of people trying to fix a situation they don't understand and are not getting information from the youth who are actually living in it. When I think about the laws that we still need to take care of, I guess I'd start with youth and say that we need to not just provide advisory help for districts, but actually make it required for districts to protect and take care of transgender students. Um, and of course, kids are, are coming out much earlier now, so that's created a whole set of different issues. I had like this free counseling because um, it was the beginning of freshman year and I didn't I hadn't told anyone that I was trans yet and I, I needed to talk to someone and I thought oh I should see a medical professional because they'll probably be consoling and stuff so I went to see this lady and I sat down she's like what's your problem and um, I said I think I might be trans and she was like okay tell me more about that and I was like well I like have had these feelings for a really long time and I know that like deep down I'm a boy and she was like aren't you a little too like young to know that and I was like well no and she was like are you sure like everybody goes through hormones and like f weird feelings in high school and like just because you want to cut off your hair doesn't mean you're a boy and I'm like no, no, that's okay and then I was like okay like she didn't really tell me anything that I like didn't already like think about and so and it was sort of just like yeah you you're not qualified to to talk to kids about this which is kind of sad we had not one, not two, not three, not four, but I think at least five separate bathroom bills that were uh, introduced this last year in the legislature. Trans people should be able to use whatever bathroom they want because it's just a bathroom. Like, you're, you're going in there to like do your business. That's like, and that's, everyone needs to do that. That bill and the initiative uh, really exposed some ugly parts of our society. I am just dismayed 
that there are people who are either that ill-informed about transgender people or who want to use transgender people uh, to make political points for themselves. Transphobia, I think, depends on sexism and classism and ableism and racism, for sure. And all of those things interact with one another and they all are, they all support and are supported by a culture that's kind of based around like sameness. Their most fundamental relationships depend on the idea that the guy gets to make the decision and that there is this binary difference between people. Then you start to understand why the idea of same-sex couples or the idea of people whose gender can actually change becomes very threatening to the foundation of their whole idea of social order. This is an especially heartbreaking day for all of our friends, our fellow Americans who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender. The shooter targeted a nightclub where people came together to be with friends, to dance and to sing, and to live. The place where they were attacked is more than a nightclub. It is a place of solidarity and empowerment where people have come together to raise awareness, to speak their minds, and to advocate for their civil rights. There's always a silver lining to a cloud, right? And one of the great things about having to have this fight is that it offers us an opportunity to have a much broader conversation about these issues. My friends have been really supportive. When I came out, they all like switched over to the right pronouns and the right names like automatically and also like they like if somebody else is like being rude or if they're misgendering, they like take them down. Like they are always really like defensive of me and um, they protect me and that's like really nice because like if like even like here at home like sometimes it's hard um, but like I know I can always go to like my friends and stuff and they'll always support me and like be there for me. Like, I'm no different from them just the fact that like I was assigned a different gender at birth and I don't, I don't understand like why that that's so like shocking. I just want to be treated like a regular teenage boy because that's what I am.